Good morning everyone. It is Monday morning and welcome as we join together to read God's Word. We're going to read Psalm 17 this morning. So let's read this psalm together. O Lord, hear my plea for justice. Listen to my cry for help. Pay attention to my prayer for it comes from honest lips. Declare me innocent for you see those who do right. You have tested my thoughts and examined my hearts in the night. You have scrutinised me and found nothing wrong. I am, declared, I am determined not to sin in what I say. I have followed your commands which keep me from following cruel and evil people. My steps have stayed on your path. I have not wavered from following you. I am praying to you because I know you will answer, O oh God. Bend down and listen as I pray. Show me your unfailing love in wonderful ways. By your mighty power you rescue those who seek refuge from their enemies. Guard me as you would guard your own eyes. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. Protect me from wicked people who attack me, from murderous, murderous enemies who surround me. They are without pity. Listen to their boasting. They track me down and surround me, watching for a chance to throw me to the ground. They are like hungry lions, eager to tear me apart, like young lions hiding in ambush. Arise, O Lord, stand against them and bring them to their knees. Rescue me from the wicked with your sword. By the power of your hand, O Lord, destroy those who look to this world for their reward, but satisfy the hungry of your treasured ones. May their children have plenty, leaving an inheritance for their descendants. Because I am righteous, I will see you. When I awake, I see you face to face and be satisfied. Amen. That psalm this morning is simply entitled A Prayer of David. Um, whenever you look at the, the, the notes beforehand. And it really is a prayer just coming from David's heart. But it's in verse 3, you have tested my thoughts and examined my heart in the night. You have scrutinised me and found nothing wrong. I am determined not to sin in what I say. David says that God has looked at him and knows everything about him. And it says you've examined my heart in the night. Like we were talking about yesterday in church, the difference between um, day and night are light and dark. Light is seen as good, dark is seen as bad. Dark is associated with sinfulness light is associated with walking rightly with god and david says you've you've you know you've examined my heart in the night that my, my worst time as such but david's not perfect we all know that david does things which are very foolish david does things which are completely wrong um so much so that whenever he goes he wants to build a temple for god god tells me he can't because he's got too much blood on his hands but yet, David is still called a man after God's own heart. Why? Because he actively wanted to follow God and wanted to do what God had called him to do. He wanted to be obedient. And he, yes, he struggled with that because of human nature and sinful nature. But he kept going through it all. You know, it's easy to give up, but this prayer shows that David doesn't give up. This prayer shows that... He's determined to keep going no matter what. He's determined to keep following God, even when it's just struggle, even when it's difficult. And he asked God to help him to do that. So the start of a week, a week that who knows what it'll bring. Maybe it'll be hard, maybe it'll be difficult. Maybe it'll be a week whenever you can get out and about a wee bit more. Maybe it'll be a week whenever you, you, you withdraw a bit more. Um, who knows what you'll face this week. But no matter what struggle you face, you face it with God, not alone. And God will help you through it and surround you and protect you. So let's start the week off the best possible way. Let's pause and let's pray together. Father, thank you that you are always there. Thank you that you, you do know everything about us. David talks about how you've examined his heart. Lord, you've examined all of us. You know everything about us and you still love us. And we thank you for that, Father. Just help us as we strive to live for you. 
Lord, help us to do it in your strength and not on our own, because we know we cannot do it in our own strength. So please, Father, give us your strength that we can follow you today and always. In this week that lies ahead, Lord, just help us to look out for others. Help us to lift our eyes up from the ground and to look around and to reach out to those, Lord, who maybe are struggling, that we can try and support them and encourage them in some way at all. So, Lord, thank you and go with us now, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, folks, for joining with me this morning. I trust that you do have a good week, uh, but we'll check in again with each other tomorrow morning. So see you at nine tomorrow. Take care. God bless. Bye.